Good morning, YouTube. day one and hopefully Vita for the rest of the month. We've got Kristen's drinking some tea. I apologize for the background noise but this is life in a hotel with dogs. We've got a bright eyed and bushy tail mommy. Oh you guys got a tail wag. Say good morning. And over here we have the Dooster. So our plans for today are to, Kristen is going to work, or attempt to work, and we're going to stay close to the hotel, and hopefully we'll get good news and we'll be able to pack up and leave first thing tomorrow morning, right after medication, right? Um, I've made coffee in the world's smallest coffee maker. I went down and got us some English muffins from the um, Continental Breakfast. I'm thinking I might make myself a breakfast sandwich this morning. Would you like a breakfast sandwich? Not late. No, we can't eat till eight. How does that sound? Eggs, bacon, cheese, English muffins. She might be down for that. The bacon's already cooked. She's standing up to eat today. Yay. We opted to go different breakfast. English muffins and fruit. And do because he will look at us. Molly ate all her breakfast. Molly ate all his breakfast. Of course, do ate all his breakfast. No one gets between do and his food. That's your breakfast. Pretty good. So it's what time, Kristen? Nine something. Early nine. <laughs> and we're sitting here and I'm hoping this is what our day looks like aside from a phone call saying Molly looks good so I'm working on my cross stitch project I did bring socks to knit on but I forgot everything I needed to knit them and I did bring a blanket to work on I've got Dewey here Maxwell there Molly there Kristen's working Got a fan there. There's a fan beside Max that you can barely see. And we do have the TV on because we just need to mask the hotel sounds. So, hopefully it will be a rather if positively eventful day. And we can start packing up tonight to leave first thing tomorrow morning. But keep your fingers crossed. Buying our time by eating hog and dogs. Still waiting to get back to call. We have not heard anything. We've emailed them. We have not heard anything. It's really beginning to tick me off. I said tick. Me, which is what I'm having to put off with. <laughs> you gotta take your head back. I thought it was supposed to stay. Maybe you've never done that? No, maybe my nose is big enough. This is big enough. It's also a tablespoon. This is supposed to be a teaspoon. And your, your nose isn't big enough for a tablespoon. Are you saying you have a small nose? <laughs> you have teeny tiny feet, so it wouldn't <laughs> surprise me. No, not. <laughs> it doesn't count. Dang bad. Molly, you got a piggy? Oh, we got something else coming, I think. And a little bit of, oh, a little bit of ice cream. She just ate the whole thing. <laughs> As did Max. Let's see your Dewey over there. He's going to lick it. So I can zoom in no, on. he ate it all. He ate it all. <laughs> Sweetie pie? 
Max, did you get it all, buddy? Yeah. You're interested in some food, huh, baby girl? What about you, Max? Really for me? This is the most normal thing I get to do. I'm trying really hard to just destroy it, and I just can't. Yeah. Kind of I'm trying really hard. I'm pulling it. Oh, there it goes. <coughs> oh, shred. Don't eat any of it. I don't need any of it. Okay. Give that Give back. I'll take it this one then. Fine. Molly, here. <laughs> get it, Molly. Get it. Molly's tests are not back. We won't be back till tomorrow, but she does need to go over and have some blood work run. Got Max's medicine with us. Christine's outside with the big kids. Okay, this is very exciting, Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, which actually to us is very exciting because there's a whole bunch of stuff we don't have. There's three lanes of traffic. There's, <laughs> there's Petco, we don't have that. We don't have Papaginos. We don't have 22 Dunkin' Donuts, which, oh, there's one of them right there. 3.57 yep. miles. 22. Dunkin' Donuts within three and a half miles of the hotel and four Starbucks. That's not overkill. There's a lot of cho lot of um, Chinese restaurants here. Trader Joe's. We don't have a Trader Joe's. Whole Foods is up here. We don't have a Whole Foods. I've been to Target five times in three days. We don't have Target doesn't even exist in Vermont. It's coming. I know it's coming. It's coming far away from us. So. Yeah. Still wouldn't count. Um, yeah, so if you're ever, oh, there's Whole, Whole Foods right there. If you're ever in the market for a vacation in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, this is what you're in for. It, it's, I mean, it's thrilling. Absolutely thrilling. Why are we in Shrewsbury? Why are we in the car? Bump on bump of traffic. Oh! Hello. I did mention it when I was talking to them earlier. Oh. We are on our way back to Cummings, and I'll show you Cummings when we pull up to it to get Molly's, um, to have a blood draw done, to have some liver values checked, to see if we're still trending either stable or downward, right? Yeah. And we won't have that back till tomorrow, mm -hmm. but it seems like we may, may have a date to go home, which would be Wednesday. Praise be. And there are the little kiddos. She's sacked out. Yeah. And there's this little kiddo. They do. So. See that teeny tiny sign? That's how really teeny tiny it is. We're almost there. This is the campus. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Bellard Street. Coming School of Veterinary Medicine. I don't know what that is over there. Lecture halls. Molly to actually go in there. Hi. Molly. Molly was terrified. Molly has never been afraid of the vet before. But. We got the blood work done. I think she's lost like eight pounds, which is a little bit concerning. So we'll be calling our vet when I get home, when we get back to the hotel, I mean. Mm -hmm. And then Dewey pooped himself in the lobby. So that was fun. And I got these kids are with me again. I've got the poop master here. And Kristen is in just waiting for our invoice. 
Nothing is easy, but that is okay. As long as Molly is okay, I don't really care if it's easy or hard. I'll show you this place that we've been looking at that is quite, I don't know, what's the word? Haunting? Intriguing. I think it's an old insane asylum, and Kristen noticed yesterday that it says no trespassing, government property. But it's definitely an old hospital of some sort. Can't see it here. It's. See those dilapidated haunted buildings back there? It's a nice government facility. Ooh. If you're a conspiracy theorist, I would love to know what you think's going on in there. There's more buildings. Look at that. I do believe it's an old state hospital because there's a sign further up for the Grafton Hospital. What's it called? Cemetery. So, that would be my guess. I might have to look into that. That was pretty stressful, don't you think? Yeah. Grafton State Hospital Memorial. Oh, State Hospital? State Hospital's with that sign. You know what that means? Looney bin. Yep. Definitely haunted. Or go it was that. probably called a sanitarium back then. But, yeah, definitely ghost adventures need to go there so that they can feel everything everywhere they go. What's next? Coffee. Uh, yeah, I need to find one of the 22 Dunkin' Donuts. If we don't come across one, I'll make one in the, in the hotel. You're not going to be able to make one of the Dunkin' Donuts. No. So, coffee next. Up my deputy. You looking for Erin? She went into Dunkin' Donuts, buddy. I'm sure she'll bring you some out something, okay? Yeah, I'm sure she will. How you doing, Molly? You okay, honey? Yeah. Max is back there somewhere. All right. Just want to fill everybody in on what's happened since we got back from the emergency hospital. Well, Dewey pooped in his carriage at the vets in the lobby. Yep. While yep. I was in the room with While Molly. Because the they tried to take Molly and she freaked out. So when I was walking her back with the tech to try, the tech wanted us to trick her, I said, I'm going to go with her. And they said, Well, then we need a room. I said, I don't care if we go in a room or if I go out back. I'm going with her. Okay, so while I was doing that, do we poop in his carriage? Yep. Max shook hands with a stranger, which yes. was good that he shook hands with a stranger then because when we get back to the hotel, Getting out of the van, he steps in poop. <laughs> we have to feed them. And then Molly had to go out and do her business, and her hind end is weak, so she was trying to poop, and then she fell in her poop everywhere. And so we just spent the last literally two hours washing and trimming her, and poor Aaron had to go back to Target <laughs> again. They're to gonna get, know me by my first name. To get, uh, <coughs> new crib sheets, a crib pad, some scissors, new towels, <laughs> face cloths. Yeah, you know, face cloths. Gloves. Yeah. And Baby shampoo. Poor Molly. She's she's mortified. She really is. She's mortified. She's exhausted too. Yeah, I'm hoping to let her sleep for. I don't even know what time it is, but six oh nine. I'm hoping to let her sleep until at least eight, eight or eight thirty. So we've got a breakout date, but we're out of clothes. So you may see repeats of clothes, but never oh. fear. Yeah, this probably could walk away by itself. Yeah. Along with my pants. Never fear. We were in the gas station. Well, I was in the gas station getting us Dunkin' Donuts, and I found some shirts. You want to show them the shirts that we're gonna wear as twinsies tomorrow? I can't believe you're making me do that. I'm making you do it. <laughs> oh. Wait, Z, I want you to know I take this with me everywhere I go. Yes, she does. Seriously. Yes, she does. Because it has come in handy. Okay. Let's just see the model. Okay, I got Kristen. What guess to pick her color? Wicked smart. <laughs> so I got a navy blue one. And I got a red one. Which one do you want? 
have a feeling I know which one you want. He'd be blue. Right. I prefer the red anyway. Good. Like it's my. I don't know if they're gonna fit. I, they had two sizes to pick from: tiny and huge. Those don't look huge. What'd you do? Pick tiny. <laughs> so it's, no, those are extra large. So we'll see. Yeah. All right. We just finished eight o'clock medication. Molly takes. I think it's twelve pills at eight o'clock. Max took his medication. Dewey had his medication. Just to give you an idea, this is our medication schedule for the kids. So we still have one more dose at midnight, and that is every day. And Max's medication has to be given precisely at the time that it's required. So Molly went out for last call. Max is coming back in from last call. This is not last call. Oh, second to last call. Cold out there? It's chilly. All right, guys, it is 8.20. Molly just had all her medicine, which is a lot of medicine. I already said that. Start over. So it's 8.20. We're going to wrap up this vlog for tonight. Uh, we didn't get any answers, real answers today, but we are assured that we'll have them tomorrow. And with any luck, we will have a treatment plan tomorrow so that we can head home on Wednesday. But, of course, it's supposed to snow on Wednesday, so I don't know if our leaving first thing in the morning is going to happen or if we're going to try and wait until it passes a little bit. We're going to watch the weather and see what happens. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Can you say good night, YouTube? See you in the morning. Fingers crossed we get our results and they're all new.